Hey everybody, GC13 here. The Witches of the Creek have been fascinating viewers ever since their appearance in the intro. They've definitely been earning their place there too, having major roles in three episodes for their knowledge of the powerful magics of the creek has been on full display. Let's take a look at those episodes, shall we? Here's a summary of the involvement of the Witches of the Creek in the series through Season 2 and their three major appearances. The Curse, The Last Kid in the Creek, and The Haunted Dollhouse. The witch's first appearance was The Curse, the tenth episode of Season 1. Craig and his friends noticed something amiss about their drawing table. During the night, someone covered it in candles, writing, and carvings. Determined to find out who did it, the Stump Kids returned that night to see the opening of a meeting of the Midnight Republic, or the 830 Republic if you're a clock watcher, and were introduced to Tabitha and Courtney. Kelsey is able to identify the two vandals as witches. But soon after, JP collapses to the ground and alerts them to their presence. Enraged at being spied on, Tabitha proclaims a curse upon the Stump Kids. Craig and his friends run away, but it's too late. They've been cursed. Recognizing the terrible predicament they're in, the kids research anti-witch techniques and return to the stump that night. Things go awry immediately. Tabitha breaks the salt circlement to subdue their powers, and the arrival of her father threatens to bring about her eternal grounding, meaning she could never undo the curse she had placed. Ever the good boy, Craig proposes a deal. He gets Tabitha back home before she's grounded, and the witches undo their curse. She accepts, and our action sequence begins. It isn't easy, but because of his conspicuous bravery, Craig is able to spirit the witches out of the creek and away from the wrath of Tabitha's father. True to their word, the witches help the stump kids break their curse, and Tabitha gifts Craig the magical protection of the Empress of Swords. The next episode the witches appeared in was The Last Kid in the Creek. After Craig questions the universe to its face, he finds that every other kid in the creek has disappeared. Recognizing that he's been cursed, he seeks the witch's guidance. After listening to his plight, they tell him that he's been placed into the middle of a classic supernatural morality tale. Until he shows the universe that he's changed, the creek will remain empty. He has to eat those hot cabbage and clam chips. Craig knows that it'll take more than a few chips from the bottom of the bag to prove to the universe that he's changed so he journeys around the creek collecting the various food items that have grossed him out. The witches use those snacks to brew a potion and imbue it with a spell. Upon imbibing the potion, Craig is overcome by the magic and passes out. After returning to the creek the next day, however, he sees that the potion worked. Everyone is back at the creek! He happily greets his friends and makes good on his promise to the universe by pledging to never turn down another chance to try new things. Ever. Again. His friends decide to celebrate by trying something new and the episode ends with Craig happily making good on his pledge to the universe. And finally, we come to the haunted dollhouse. While looking for a four-leaf clover, the Stump Kids chance upon a very impressive dollhouse. They marvel at it briefly, and Craig offers words of encouragement for the little painter doll, but they quickly return to their search. Upon returning to their stump, however, they make a most unsettling discovery. The dollhouse had beaten them home. There was no one in that empty field to see them with the dollhouse, and there were no clues about who might have moved it. All there was, was a new painting in the dollhouse. A painting of Craig, made by one proud little painter doll. The Stump Kids panic and regroup in a bush. As they go out in search of a natural explanation, they find that the doll has moved. Now he's watching their arrival from the window. They panic again, this time all the way back to Smoothie Groovy, the witch's magical potion emporium. One calming elixir from Courtney later, Rick explains their plight to the witches, and the witches give them the bad news. The dollhouse is haunted, and its ghost wants something from Craig and his friends. The only way to appease the ghost and end their haunting is to give it what it wants. Unfortunately, there are a lot of ghosts out there. The only way for the witches to help them would be for the Stump Kids to discover the identity of the ghost haunting the dollhouse. Not up to the task, Craig and his friends try to find a mundane solution to their magical problem. They abandon the dollhouse elsewhere in the creek, leaving it to find some other kids to haunt. Of course, once a ghost has decided to haunt you, you can't get away from it that easily. They walk back to the stump feeling pleased with themselves, only to see that the dollhouse had beaten them there yet again. With no choice, they turn to the best researcher they know, Stax. With her help, they're able to get a name, Arthur Rowley. Knowing his name and story gives the witches what they need, and they're able to conduct a seance to speak with Arthur directly. After making contact, they learn Arthur's purpose. He just wants to play. Accepting, Craig opens the door and releases Arthur's spirit from his doll. The Stump Kids are happy to use their sacrificial dolls to play with Arthur, but, unfortunately... We're just really annoying to play with. 
Seeing the stump kids accidentally ransack the dollhouse with their clumsy attempts to play, Arthur releases his haunting of Craig and his friends. When the lights come back on, he, his dollhouse, and the stump kids' sacrificial dolls are all gone. A small price to pay for a life free of ghostly haunting. And those are the three episodes about our dear witches so far. Season 3 is only just beginning, though, so we can hope to have more magical tales featuring them in the future. Which witch episode is your favorite? What would you like to see them do next? Let me know down in the comments below. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more cartoon videos.